What is going on, YouTube family? I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the shop, some new tools that we got um, right here. We got some uh, new air compressors. And I was gonna get um, a, a super nice one that was gonna come with all the bells and whistles, I think from Northern Tool. But it was just on back order and I, I'm, it's busy season as you guys know and I needed it right away. So I couldn't wait any longer. I canceled that one. I wanna say, I can't but I can't remember the uh, name of the one I was gonna get, but I was gonna spend, you know, like a 1900 on this, almost $2,000 on this. Um, dang, what is the name of it? It's big and yellow. I forgot what it's called, but it's one of the more silent ones out there. So if you look at, if you look up, you know, the best, you know, 80 gallon air compressor is it's gonna pull up with, it's a yellow one and it has like blue, blue and silver lettering and whatnot. But um, anyway, so like I said, it was taking too long and I really needed it cause the one we had died on us and that was kind of our main, our go-to. And this is kind of an upgrade for us. So uh, the one we were working with before on the van, we carry just a five gallon but on, uh, in the shop, we had this 30 gallon and that's all we needed for the time being. Cause we were just starting, you know, I just got the shop and running up. And so I need a little more pressure. So I was like, hey, let me go ahead and get an 80 gallons. Go ahead and invest, reinvest in the business and make it happen. Like I said, it was just on back order. So we, so I decided to just go with this master force right here. Let me move this cord out the way. This master force and it's pretty cool, so let me show you a couple things. All right, guys. So um, first off, don't judge me because it's still on the pallet, but you know, we were just setting everything up, make sure it works. But anyway, right here we have the Master Force. Kind of took a beating on the way here. Um, from my understanding, you can only get this at uh, Menards. So Menards carry this. I don't know where you are, but you know, the Midwest, Menards pretty much everywhere, it's kind of like Home Depot, but um, this is just a 60 gallon, you know, and the max PSI is 155. All the other stuff really doesn't matter unless you're painting. Um, voltage is 230, so where the 230 comes in is pretty funny because uh, it's got this uh, weird type of plug right here. I don't know if you guys seen this. So it's got this weird plug. It's not like, you know, when we would plug up this vacuum right here and it has just these two. So it's pretty weird. Some of the, uh, I know the 80 gallons have like the big circle one. So if you get the 80 gallon, definitely expect to uh, be putting in a big circle plug. But um, this, is the, this is the plug it came with. So yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a master force from Menards comes with a uh, three-year warranty. As you can see, it's assembled and made in Springfield. And right here, it just shows you like all the tools that you can use literally for any type of job. And the reason I, you know, kind of went with this 60 gallon instead of just saying, okay, forget it, we're gonna wait. I kind of went with the 60 gallon because 60 gallon, I mean, when we're detailing cars or, you know, if I'm like, you know, uh, wrapping a car or whatnot, I don't need too much air, taking off wheels, I don't need too much air. This can definitely do it all. So the 80 gallon would just be, you know, a, a cherry on top, but I already got the ice cream right here. So the crazy thing with this though, I will say, it came with this, with this funky looking, you know, cord. So then I had to get something else installed. So I had a guy come out, electrician come out and install this funky looking uh, outlet right here. You can see it's very different, very different because the, uh, the prongs right here are sideways versus these are vertical. So I just had to get that installed. It was actually a pretty quick installation because I had an extra, uh, I don't know what this is called right here, but it's an extra box or so. So we just ran it down to that right there. So it works out perfectly. Um, the cord is pretty thick, pretty durable. Um, what else about this thing? Oh, so how it came, it was just the tank itself, obviously on a pallet. 
and I had to buy all this extra stuff right here, as you can see. So guys, as we move up to here, you can see it takes uh, full synthetic, you know, you have to use compressor, you know, oil. On the pamphlet though, it's pretty funky because it shows like a drain plug right here that you would use for your oil, but actually this uh, gauge that you can, this little indicator that you see right here is the actual drain plug. So they always want, they want the oil to be, you know, kind of in the middle of the circle, as you can see right here. And then this is where you fill it up at. So you would um, obviously get like a, uh, I have a, uh, a wrench, an impact wrench that I use to just knock this off just like I use on the on the wheels if we're taking off wheels so you just uh, unscrew that and then it drains out which is kind of funky because there's like no spout or nothing this is kind of one of the downfalls of getting this master force I would say there's kind of like no spout right here for the oil to leak out so you I mean it literally drips onto the the damn air compressor itself I just basically used a towel and then I had the drip pan so that I guess that kind of worked out. Not too much oil goes in here, which is, I guess, pretty good. Um, the gauge on here is pretty awesome. I will say this, I was trying to change one of my air filters and I kind of stripped this screw right here. I don't know if you can see it because I, like I said, I was wrapping the car. I totally forgot to cover this up, but that's okay. We'll get that fixed. So that's why it's kind of banged up right there. I'm trying to take it apart. But um, yeah, that's that's kind of the the whole whole thing in itself. Um, I was looking on video, I was looking on YouTube, and I didn't see any out there about the Master Force itself. So I was just gonna make this quick video. These are pretty cool, man. Sixty gallons is really all you need. I mean, unless you're running like a full auto body shop. You honestly don't even need an 80, 80 gallon air compressor or a hundred gallon. Um, this works totally fine. Okay, all right, on to the to the uh, main course here. So as you can see, obviously we got these uh, these guns right here. I'm just gonna set these down. By the way, um, if you're wondering where I got the guns from, I think I got the guns, the guns and the fittings right here that you can see. So you would get this, and you would get this, one fourth, you know, female, male connect. I believe I got those at Home Depot. These guns I've just had over the years, so, you know, just swapped them out. Uh, these are Diablo uh, air hoses. I believe these are, you know, 25 feet long. So, you know, it can reach all the way over there. You can reach all the way over there, you know, good stuff like that. I got those from, oh, I want to say Harbor Freight. I believe I got that from Harbor Freight. So definitely check out Harbor Freight. They got some nice air hoses out there as well as everybody else. As, as um, we move on to this piece right here, and it's crazy because I'm kind of, I'm, I'm doing this video basically for the people out there who are, who are thinking about getting, you know, a step up from, you know, the smaller air compressors to these big boys right here. Because there's no video out there showing you or telling you what to get so this piece right here is crucial if you're running multiple tools i forget what this is called but you can definitely find this at a home depot or um menards or you know uh, harbor freight i forget what this piece is called but basically i can run three three projects at the same time or two projects as you can see right here at the same time now a couple of these fittings are one fours some of them are um one halves that make into a one four. So when you're going to these, you know, if you go to Menards and try to get this master force right here, literally nobody knows what the hell pieces go into this right here. So you literally have to look this up, man. And it's, it's crazy. You go over there like, okay, somebody, you know, in the plumbing section kind of helped me out on this. So my bad if I don't remember it because but I don't know, but um, okay, so right here, so this is the three-fourths, okay? So this is the three-fourths right here. Like I said, none of this from here on was on was on this air compressor. So I bought this, then I had to go to the plumbing section and the, you know, the tool section to find all these pieces. This whole compartment right here, I had on my, um, on my 
other air compressors, so I wouldn't worry about this much unless you're going to be running multiple tools. Definitely grab this. This is a banger right here. And as you can see, it's just like a um, it's just like if you were putting in an air com air compressor gun right here. You could just quick release it. So that's pretty that's pretty neat. So right here and up, these are the pieces I had to buy. So this is a three fourth. I had to get a tube that was big enough. And I'm gonna show you guys in the, in the manual uh, how it looks, how they want you to set it up. I don't need all that extra stuff, you know, to catch water and moisture and do all this and that, because we because we don't we don't use it very long. But anyway, this is the three fourths as you can see, and I found this uh, turn off valve which is clutch to have. You always want to have your turn off valve. So if I turn it this way, I got air. If I turn it off, I don't have air. It cuts off and it doesn't leak or nothing. And the air compressor can just run and refill up and stop. So I grabbed this uh, three-fourths uh, pipe right here, screwed it in. I uh, wish I didn't screw it in uh, too hard because I definitely would have put some tape right here. It doesn't leak right here, but Guys, when you're building something like this, you're definitely gonna need this tape right here. This tape is clutch. I have no idea what it's called. I'm sorry about that, but you guys can, you know, kind of go through that on your own. Anyway, so everywhere that you see it screwed in, I try to wrap that tape over there. The tape basically helps it helps the air from leaking or finding a way out. So the turn off valve into this three fourth leading into I want to say a one fourth, and then I taped it right here, leading into this. Uh, I'm forgetting everything today, but leading into this bad boy right here, basically this, you know, the PSI, this gauge, coming into here, which is another one fourth, taped it off, and then the uh, quick disconnect right here for this, for this thing right here. So. Definitely when you guys are looking for uh, you know air compressor if you buy the more expensive ones Yes, they might come with some of that this one right here. I forgot to mention it, but it's a single engine uh, The double the dual engine is way better, you know more efficient But like I said, that's for you know more powerful if you're using more more tools like that. So I Love this machine. I will say that I'm just upset it didn't come with, you know, a lot more that the bigger machines offer, but for what for what the uh for the job it does every day is freaking awesome. And I bet you guys want to know how much I pay for this. Okay, so basically like I said, um I was going to spend close to $2,000 getting this, you know, dual engine 80 gallon air compressor that was going to, you know, take over the whole shop basically now when you step up above these from an electric air compressor you have to use oil so you got to definitely keep washing that and you got to maintain that air compressor just like you would a car so in total i was going to spend two thousand dollars on the air compressor i saved about thirteen hundred dollars buying this master force 60 gallons they can run any tool in my shop. And you can see the shop is not that big. It's 1,600 square feet plus the waiting room and all of this. So I can run any tool off this bad boy and guess, me, guess how much this cost me. This cost me, okay, sorry about that. A uh, guy came in with another shipment for products and also a customer just dropped off their car. <laughs> But um, anyway, so overall on this air compressor, I spent, oh, real quick before I, before, before I say the, the amount, definitely when you get an air compressor, definitely get this little turn off valve right here. This definitely helps. So this basically uh, relieves the pressure built up and the moisture. So this is kind of like the moisture drain valve right here. Every air compressor has it at the bottom. You definitely want to invest in one of those. Okay. so. How much I spent on this? It was around, I wanna say five or $600. So, as you can see, I saved a ton by switching to Geico. <laughs> but anyway, so like I said, the old air compressor died on me. 
I went and got this bad boy. I, like I said, it takes oil, so every, every once in a while you gotta do maintenance and stuff like that. So then, you know, a good idea to have, unless you just got time to wait and, you know, time to maintain and do that stuff, you also might wanna invest in one of these electric air compressors right here. So this has the normal cord that can just fit in here. Bam, plug it in, turn it on, and then it's got the gauges right here, as you can tell. It's got the pressure valve right here, so. And it just has one uh, quick disconnect, so only one air hose can go in this. But check this out, this is a, this is a Husky 20 gallon air compressor. Now they have a 27, but you know, seven more, what's, what's the point of it? It's just a couple extra bucks. And I got this one, as you can see, this little plastic is still on here. We've been putting these to the test, but I've got this one um, from Home Depot. So Home Depot offers a ton of Husky products. So this is definitely a good one. I mean, it fills up pretty quick. You can honestly knock out a whole car in this. I could change tires in this. So if I was just a one man show, maybe invest in the 27. You know, I would probably stay away from oil air compressors. If this is like a one man show shop, I would definitely stay electric all the way to eliminate that, you know, that factor of filling it up with oil and, you know, taking that break. This has the same tools as this one, you know, has the same valve on the bottom now showing you guys that you, that's a must, that right there. It's on wheels, it's very portable. You know, it's, it's not that heavy. Again, it's probably maybe 70 pounds. I can literally throw this on the van if I wanted to and have a bigger, you know, a bigger air compressor out there on site for bigger jobs or faster time. But I basically just got this one because the old one we had was electric, it was a 30 gallon. That's a big difference being 20 gallon and 30. But anyway, I got this one because it's electric. When I'm doing maintenance on this, I could just pop this in, boom. I wasted no time. So I would definitely invest in either one of these or both of these at the same time. Overall total, I want to say this Husky probably cost me uh, $220. So just for both of these, you're probably looking at about $800, $800, $900, you know, give or take of what a uh, 60 gallon or 80 gallon you get. But for, to me, that's, that's almost the sweet spot because I was going to spend like $2,000 just on one, just on one 80 gallon air compressor while my electric one died. And I would have probably just stayed with the, electric, the uh, 80 gallon just for a while until I you know, got enough and bought the electric one. But just around like 800 for both of these, Husky, Home Depot, Master Force, Menards, I'm looking pretty good. I mean, the shop's running full capacity. I actually have a third air hose if I needed to. If I, if I, had, two car, if I had three cars in here right now, all three of them can be getting worked on right now as we speak. So, there you have it guys. The Master Forest from Menards, 60 gallon, and the Husky. The Husky, you don't really have to do too much with. It comes with, you know, the quick, the dis quick disconnect and everything is set to go, except for that valve at the bottom. You definitely gotta change that out. Master Forest, you gotta get the change valve at the bottom and you gotta get all these connected pieces right here. Make sure you guys um, stay away from PVC piping. Don't do anything cheap. You want to go um, pretty heavy on this on this material you're using right here because this is your baby right here. This is gonna keep your air compressor, you know, not leaking air and doing moisture buildup. So you definitely want to stay on that. But yeah, like I said, you know, those that's the new that's the new uh shop equipment that we got in here. We got a ton of more videos coming out for you guys. I also got some new equipment coming up and I I'll show you guys that one soon. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like, share and subscribe for more videos.